Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the Memorial of St. John Capistrano. The Mass intention is for the repose of the soul of Ken Wamtich. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples, for the Lord is great and highly to be praised. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers, my sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. <clears throat> you came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. My almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who rise up Saint John of Capistrano to comfort your faithful people in tri tribulations, please us, we pray, under your safe protection and keep your church in everlasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, The Lord is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and his fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who can stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the faith that's face that seeks, that seeks for him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Your blessing, Father. My Almighty God, let's see. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge, with, judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. 
Do you know how to interpret the present time? It is important for us as followers of Christ to be able to look honestly at society and the world as a whole and interpret it honestly and accurately. We need to be able to discern the goodness and the presence of God in our world, and we need to be able to identify and interpret the workings of the evil one in our present time. How well do you do that? One of the tactics of the evil one is to use is the use of, mani of manipulation and lies. The evil one seeks to confuse us in countless ways. These lies may come through the media, through our political leaders, and at times even through religious leaders. The evil one loves it when there is division and disorder of every kind in the world. So what do we do if we want to be able to interpret the present time? We must commit ourselves to the truth. We must seek Jesus above all things through prayer and allow his presence in our lives to help us sort out what is from him and what is not. Our present society, our society presents us with countless moral choices, so we may find ourselves being pulled in many directions. We can find that our minds are challenged and at times find that even the most basic truths of humanity are attacked and distorted. Take, for example, abortion, euthanasia, and traditional marriage. These moral teachings of faith are continually under attack. The very dignity of the human person and the dignity of the family as God designed it are called into question and directly challenged. Another example of confusion within our society is the love of money. So many people are caught up in the desire for material wealth and have been drawn into the lie that this is the way to happiness. Interpreting the present time means we see through any and every confusion of our day and age. It means we see the cultural and moral errors in what they are. Reflect today upon whether you are willing and able to let the Holy Spirit cut through that confusion present around us today. Are you ready to allow the Holy Spirit of truth to penetrate your mind and lead you in all truths? Seeking the truth in our present time is the only way to survive the many errors and confusions thrown at us, thrown at us every day. Trusting in God, the Father of all us, we offer our prayers in this day. For the Pilgrim Church on earth, that through the power and grace of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in strength and unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them compassion and insight in showing special care for those most vulnerable in our society, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel defeated in whatever their daily battles are, and for all in need of any kind of healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord continue to help us grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, may they rejoice forever, beholding God face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ken Wamchich, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our parish book of intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts. Lord.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, please hear and answer our prayers, prayers this day according to your holy will. You ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, we offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of St. John of Capistrano, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of this Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with the all angels and saints, we praise you and us with our end we acclaim. Hol holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, host. heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon like the fall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. John of Capistrano, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for, by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion as Prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. 
The Lord sent out disciples to proclaim throughout the towns, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Let us pray. <clears throat> By the power of this mystery, O Lord, conform your servants in the true faith, that, may, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. John of Capistrano never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, flood my heart with your love and free me from all that you would keep me from doing your will each day. Transform my mind that I may discern what is right and choose what is good and pleasing to you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>